My name is Elise Nerlov Rudchik. I am second generation grape grower and winemaker. My dad bought an old sheep ranch in 1983, and we didn't come for money, so when it came to putting vines in the ground, we couldn't afford the fancy new equipment or the big commercial crews. My father moved up here in 1981, and his goal was to return to a slower, more country farming life. Our first vintage was in 1992. When it came to selling wine, we followed suit what the industry was doing. We contacted a distributor um, and would sell our wine to restaurants or wine shops, and that's sort of how we operated. Back then, there were far more distributors than wineries. The job of the winery was to grow grapes, make wine, give them to the distributor, sell them in the grocery store. We really didn't sell in the taste rooms. We get to about 2,000, and all of these wineries that had come up, one day we're told by the distributors, hey, you know, you're too small for us. We really can't, we really can't help you anymore. The only way to get wine to people is to get into restaurants. We can't basically introduce our wine through by the glass programs or by being on a restaurant menu because people aren't consuming wine. The way the wine industry looks today, direct to consumer, is the only way to market. Big wineries to this day, they still use the three-tier wholesale system. Small wineries have to go direct. We cannot legally do tastings at our ranch thanks to Napa County regulations. When I submitted my application, the county didn't know what to do with it. It got escalated up to a supervisor who called me. She advised me to come back and apply for a winery closer to the 20,000 gallon mark. You can't be a startup business here. You have to start with 30, 60 million dollars. I don't think anybody will disagree that the best way to reach a customer is to bring them out to land your vineyard, your winery, and immerse them in that experience. These families can't afford to build a 20,000 gallon permit, but also don't need to. And so it's essentially incentivizing a much larger development than is required, much larger environmental impact than is required because they can't pay for a 20,000 gallon winery to either decide whether or not they can continue their business without direct to consumer sales or sell. Everybody loves Disneyland. Right, everybody thinks Disneyland is a fantastic place to go, it's all fun and happiness, but ultimately what you're looking for is that intimate moment where you meet Mickey Mouse. Yeah, you want to meet the characters. You want to meet the people behind the brand of Napa Valley. And you want those people to stay.